This is Bailey's brand new Adamo. It's first motorhome based on a Ford Transit. But not just any old Ford Transit, it's got silver paint, alloy wheels, front fog lights, automatic lights and wipers, cab air conditioning, all the toys as standard. It's also got a 160 horsepower engine and the six speed automatic gearbox. You also get Bailey's proven Alutec construction for the body. And there are three models in the range initially, all at three and a half tonnes, so anybody can drive them. This is one of the longer ones though, 75 meaning uh, seven and a half metres long in rough terms and four travel seats, DL double lounge. Now, Bailey is targeting buyers of Continental motorhomes with the Adamo because they account for over 50% of the market and they do things a bit differently. One of the things that you get with a Continental motorhome very often is a garage and all three Adamos have a garage. Now, this one goes right the way across the vehicle with a smaller door on the off side, full height door this side with these useful shelves, which you can also get to from inside the vehicle. You've got tie downs in the corners, even little, uh, vents to sluice things out if it really gets really mucky in there but plenty of space for your bikes or whatever now if you fill that with other stuff and you've still got your bikes the mounting points on the back wall all ready for the dealer to fit you a bike rack all models come with an 80 watt solar panel 110 amp hour leisure battery a tv aerial truma combi 4 gas and electric heating and this big overcab sunroof. They've also got these nice reading lights in the cab, cab seats swivel around nice and easily and their USB ports around built into those reading lights as well. The lounge Bailey is calling its new Flexi Lounge. Like a lot of Continental vans you've got side facing settees, nice open feel, fixed table that then expands to be a really huge dining sur surface. Five people around that, no trouble at all. It goes up and down electrically. But the key thing is, of course, this being a family layout, you need travel seats. So fold the table away, lower it down, and these settees convert into a pair of individual rear travel seats. You put the table down for travel, Remove the armrests. These Agouti backrests flip up and they're adjustable so you can have the rake as you find comfortable. You can store one of the spare cushions behind. And that little door just flips open to give you legroom. Plenty of legroom this side, slightly less on the other side, but still enough for most adults and a decent travel seat. But the crucial thing is that Bailey has crash tested this seat system. So you can be absolutely sure that your passengers, especially if they're your children, can be traveling safely in your motorhome. One of my favorite features in this particular Adamo is the rear lounge. It's not the biggest rear lounge, but it is very comfortable. And it has a different feel about it because you've got the garage here You've got this nice shelf area over the, over the garage, useful for cups of coffee, drinks in the evening. You've got your reading lights above. And it just feels a little bit more cosy, a bit more private than, than often a rear lounge does. You've also got, that's the shelved locker that we saw from the garage. And then on this side, you've got a wardrobe and then a nice big storage locker up there too. So, lots of sort of bedroom type storage but it's just a nice comfortable place to relax there's no table here this is your relaxing space you dine up front and chill at the back even better you don't have to fiddle about 
turning this lounge area into a bedroom. Just remove the backrest cushions across there and then all you have to do is press a couple of buttons. Now you've got a nice comfy double bed. You've got this nice useful shelf that was useful during the day. It's just as useful at night. TV bracket so you can watch telly in bed. Privacy curtain comes across if you want it. And even better, you don't have to make a bed at the front either. At the front, we've got the table lowered, so that's one job done already. Just remove the armrest cushions, and then again, it's the extremely hard work of pressing a button. And still get in and out through the habitation door. Bed, again, is nice and low, nice and easy to get in and out. You've got reading lights, but the feature I really like is you've got somewhere to put your specs at night. With its drop-down beds and garage, there's much that feels continental about this Bailey Adamo, but not the kitchen. That is truly British. Mains hot plate, three gas rings and separate grill and oven. You couldn't really ask for more. You've got a decent area of worktop here with two three-pin sockets just nice and close by for your toaster or your kettle or whatever. And then if you need a bit more worktop when you're serving up, well, that does the job perfectly. Plenty of storage at high level. These are nice, tall cupboards. Um, cutlery drawer hasn't been forgotten either, but don't be confused. This isn't a cupboard. That's the back of your gas locker. What you have got, however, is an enormous fridge, 142 litres with automatic energy selection and even a bit more storage above it. There isn't room in this particular layout to incorporate a separate shower, but that aside, the washroom is quite well appointed. There's a decent area of worktop next to the basin, an opening window as well as the roof vent, and also a flip down drying rail for any wet clothes that you will now inevitably get when you go out hiking. Showering, of course, does need the curtain to come around, but there are diagonally opposite drains, so it should all flow away quite nicely. And that's a theme right throughout this new Adamo, making things easy to live with. So the waste tank is under the floor and you can access it for cleaning there. Grey and black, obviously your waste tank. And your fresh water tank is inboard, great for winterisation, all year camping. Blue, again, your cleaning cap, so that's obviously your fresh water tank, and both are a good size at 100 litres. So priced at 59999 this is a very versatile motorhome. Works for two people that want lots of space, or for four, especially families that will appreciate the crash testing that Bailey put their motorhomes through. It's a great mix of continental features and British design too.